Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to give you guys a heads up on some great uh, PC and Steam game deals available at our good friends at Green Man Gaming and very timely as Destiny 2 Final Shape is out, Elder Scrolls Online Gold Road I believe is out or it'll be out very soon and Elden Ring Shadow of the Air Tree just got a big update with a lot of uh, insight, preview gameplay, things of that nature. I'm not really watching any of that. I mean, like, most of you guys, I feel like, are sold on Shadow of the Air Tree. If you're picking it up, you're picking it up. Like, nothing they can show you is probably going to sell you on the game. But, if you do want to get it a little bit cheaper, our boys at Green Man Gaming got the hookup on that and a couple of other pre-orders to note. A lot of great stuff available at GMG. They don't have a big sale running right now, but as far as new titles and upcoming games... They got the discounts lined up. So right off the top, Elden Ring Shadow of the Air Tree, 12% off for $35.19. You will get a Steam key, so you just redeem it on Steam, and then you're good to go. Obviously, you need to own the base Elden Ring game, all right? Let's not get crazy, but they do have the Shadow of the Air Tree edition on sale as well, which includes the base game. I imagine most of you guys have the base game. Look... I honestly think From Software could have just kept it rolling and they didn't have to say anything about this game and people still would have bought this game in droves given that Elden Ring is just a behemoth of its own and From Software at this point has cultivated so much goodwill with its audience that they don't gotta do much. They gotta announce a game and if they say it's a Souls-like title, people are probably gonna be interested right off the rip. It's a little bit different when they do something like... uh you know, when they do something like Armored Core 6. Like, obviously, you gotta put the promotional muscle behind that a little bit, given that you're revitalizing a franchise that hasn't been around, and it's not what From Software typically does, but... For the most part, for a game like, you know, Elden Ring, you're not going to have to sell it much. And with Shadow of the Air Tree, I just feel like they could have kept it rolling and it would have sold millions anyway. However, promotion never hurts and uh, they got that going now. And if you want the game a little bit cheaper, again, GMG's got the hookup 12% off at $35.19. Next up, available today, Destiny 2 The Final Shape, the culmination of a long journey for Destiny 2. Uh, I'm, not a much, uh, I'm not big of a Destiny 2 player, but I know a lot of people that are super excited for it and it looks like Final Shape is going to be one that ignites a lot of interest uh, into Destiny 2 and a lot of people are going to check it out if you've been a long time Destiny player obviously it's going to be something you have to play uh, given your investment into it and then after that I don't know what people are going to be doing if they're going to be jumping on over to uh, different games if they're going to continue playing Destiny waiting until Destiny 3 who knows, but after the release of Destiny 2, there will be more content rolling out uh, in the form of episodes. One is coming out, I believe, next week, then another in October, and then another in February. And you can get Destiny 2, The Final Shape, and the annual pass, 16% off for $84, so that's at a little bit of a discount. You'll get the Steam key right away. They'll be delivered right away, and you'll redeem it, and you'll be good to go. Destiny 2 is a free-to-play title, but uh, you're getting the most out of the game when you have the expansions as well. Elder Scrolls Online Gold Road, 16% off for $33.59. You gotta own ESO, of course. This is an expansion. Elder Scrolls Online, I feel like uh, as far as the big MMOs go, World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy XIV, ESO seems to be you know, at a lower level, but still made quite a big revitalization over the last couple of years. As Bethesda worked to get this game on track, and it seems like it does have a pretty hardcore following. And now Gold Road, thirty-three fifty-nine on that. Go check that out if you uh, go check that out if you're interested. Next up, more up my alley. Upcoming JRPG dropping on June the fourteenth. Shin Megami Tensei Five Vengeance, thirteen percent off for fifty-two dollars and nineteen cents. New thing from GMG. They do have Sega and Atlas titles in stock now. For a little while, they didn't, but. Times are changing, boys, and you get a Steam key immediately for this. Incredibly excited for SMT5, a definitive release for a game that came out on the Nintendo Switch. Now, SMT5 notes, become a mighty demigod and battle through a decimated Tokyo in a war between angels and demons. Make new allies along your journey, engage in intense turn-based combat, recruit hundreds of demons, and forge your own path to dictate the fate of all existence. Now, for those of you that have initially played the game, there will be the regular main story, but they are also releasing a sizable expansion 
that'll make it so if you did play the original release on Nintendo Switch, there's going to be worthwhile content to go back to and play on this one. And I'll highlight a Famitsu interview that was done that offered a lot of insight into the various upgrades made. But A Tale of Vengeance or Creation experienced two complete story paths in Shin Megami Tensei V Vengeance, both filled with conflicting and tragic choices, forcing you to confront which ideologies you are willing to fight for. As order and chaos crumble around you, forge your own path to dictate the fate of humanity. Canon of Vengeance is a dramatic tale of revenge by the fallen centered around new characters and an enigmatic cohort of demons who plot their own dark designs apart from the war of those who fight to maintain order and those who seek to defy it. Canon of Vengeance is the new component, so if you already played SMT5, you can jump right into that. The initial portion will remain the same, and then as you play the canon of Vengeance, it unweaves in a way that offers you new insight into the narrative. And then you also have canon of Creation, an internal conflict between angels and demons in which the protagonist fights for the world's fate. That is your general story. I imagine a lot of you guys watching this video didn't play the original release on the Nintendo Switch, given that it's coming out on a plethora of new platforms. So, if you are playing it for the first time, you can check out canon of Creation and then circle back to canon of Vengeance. But yeah, if you're remotely into JRPGs, SMT5 is one that you absolutely should have on your radar. I get it that it is a re-release. I get it that if you want to be bandits, you can play the base game already on PC. But a definitive release with the expansion, with the new content, with refinements being made, updated visuals, a lot to sink your teeth into with SMT5 Vengeance. And you're getting it at a little bit of a discount, and it's going to be a fairly lengthy game right off the rip anyway. Next up, Silent Hill 2 is getting a remake from Bloober Team. It's seven. $70 base, but 22% off at GMG for $54.59. Look, don't be paying $70 for this game, but $54 and change. All right, GMG, we're cooking. We're cooking now. And uh, the game is out in October, so still a ways away. I'm excited for it. Yes, I don't think it looks blow away. It doesn't look as big budget as, let's say, some of the Resident Evil remakes, but I still think it looks like an eerie horror game that I'll have a good time with. And for $54 and change, not a bad deal. $70, I could certainly see people pushing back on that and being like, hey, that's a little pricey, but 54 and change, I think that's a damn good price. Uh, given that it's 22% off, I certainly want to be on the lookout for it. And then lastly, I will give a shout to Assassin's Creed Shadows. I mean, GMG's got it in stock. 17% off for 58.09. It's a pre-purchase, and the uh, title is redeemed via Ubisoft Connect. It's not on Steam, so RIP. Uh, even when Shadows does drop on Steam, it won't, like from other e-tailers, it won't be Steam keys. You'll get Ubisoft Connect keys, so keep that in mind. But Look, I'm excited for Shadows from the standpoint of this is a setting we've wanted to explore in Assassin's Creed for how long Feudal Japan is something I've been asking for for like north of a decade. But uh, yeah, obviously uh, Ubisoft titles don't rub me the right way these days, but 5809, a little bit of a discount, actually quite a sizable discount on that. That is going to do it for me again. Links to everything in the description box below. As always, as always, thanks to GMG for partnering with this channel. They do a lot of great work, great deals, and uh, offer some of the best deals on titles upcoming. That'll do it for me. Your thoughts down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.